This is ethnic cleansing, so total. And this is also the real face of Islam, which is jihad. That a mandate they cannot escape if they have to be good Muslims. And can you imagine today in Kashmir, Hindus are not even a micro or even a nano minority. They're so tiny that it's, it, it, you know, they can't even tolerate this little. If anything, the same process is spreading to Jammu province. Rajori, Punj, Ramban, so many districts of Jammu province are witnessing, have been witnessing exactly this phenomena. And I, with folded hands, uh, uh, request you or not to pay attention to what's happening there, because that's equally serious. Because once they have Jammu cleansed of Hindus and they're spreading, coming closer to Tatwa was uh, another such demographic invasion plan when they went for this uh, Asifa case. The point that I'm trying to make is that the government of India is fighting a very mild defensive battle. Mm. They never go for the bosses of these terrorist groups. And bosses are not just lashkar e Toiba and the known terrorist groups, which also need to be tackled, the bosses, but also PDP and NC. I won't be surprised if these people, these youngsters who are, you know, acting as foot soldiers of jihad, are being instigated by PDP and C, who wish to actually bring down the, uh, uh, who, who wish to prove that Article 370 uh, uh, cancellation has. So been, why why do you uh, feel failure. they are being why why do you feel they are playing it defensively? I also agree with you, but I want your reasoning. I think this vote bank politics and the international, the fear of international condemnation. Or not, you can speak plainly, only and only because you don't care what Washington Post says about you. You don't care whether or not Harvard invites you for a lecture. You don't care to be included among this list of global leaders. You know that mafia? That are being that are being trained by the U.S. You don't care about those things. You care about what your people in this country think about you and how to articulate their sentiments, their aspirations. That's why you can speak the truth. The moment a politician starts either worrying about the vote bank and the vote bank, which is elusive, at least the Congress managed to keep the Muslim vote bank captive. You know, if they gave them concessions, they also kept them captive. But with BJP, they're not even going to get token votes from, from this bank. And secondly, the BJP is just too timid about how the world will view it, what the international media will say, what the foreign universities will say, instead of giving them a punch in the nose. And in fact, I would say whenever these foreign papers spread lies about India. The government of India or its agencies should actually file defamation suits against them. The government can do that when they are proven lies. They don't do that. They take it line low. If anything, they try, try to placate. So unless you go for the bosses who are ordering these killings, there's no point. When I say defensive, it also means after every killing, they say, oh, three days later, we neutralize so-and-so. What does no, that mean? No, I, that you means know. you're waiting for people to get killed. Then you will, Anand Fanan may shoot a couple of terrorists yeah. who are mere foot soldiers. Yeah. But you don't vote for the bosses. 